Headshot. What's up, everybody? This is Steven Z. Keller bringing another... Well, no. This is the first unboxing I'm ever going to do for my channel. I don't know if I'm ever going to do another one, but you know what? This this game, Doom, came out, and I just got back from my camping trip. Oh, look at that lens flare. There we go, guys. I just got back from my camping trip, and what I get is big old fucking package for Doom. The collector's edition for Xbox One. Now, I know what you're saying. Ew, console, but hey, that's what I do. So yeah, sorry for my crappy camera work. Uh, I rarely ever film like this, and uh, I'm using my webcam, so you're not really gonna see me though, but we're going to unbox this bad boy. Now, you get this awesome picture. You're gonna see my hand though, woo. But yeah, you get this awesome box, uh, which has an amazing art on it, I think. I, I don't know, I might actually use this in my background, I'm not sure yet. But you might see it, so. Just don't mind the random spider there, bat there, light right there, microphone, and do not feed the zombie mouse pad there. All that does not matter, or those Gokus over there. Uh, those don't matter. What matters now is this big fucking box right here. So, first things first, you see the big art by, and this game is definitely by Bethesda. And this one is fucking... Oh, oh, oh. It, it, it's just fucking amazing. I've been looking forward to this game. Yes! Uh, I just got back. It's Tuesday. I was a little, I'm a little late on uh, this. I, I, I was on a trip, so uh, yeah, whatever. So on the side, a symbol probably from the game. In the back shows you what's part of it, and a little bit of tape that I'm gonna have to cut. Luckily, I have a trusty knife with me with skulls. I thought that would be uh, poetic, <laughs> in a sense, to cut it open with a knife for the skulls. Oh, I didn't mean to stab the box. Shit. Damn it. And you got another symbol. Uh, nothing on the bottom probably. Nope. All right. Uh, well, I'm gonna open this up. Cause yeah, it's an unboxing. And here it is. <gasps> Styrofoam. I'm gonna have to give us two hands for this. I'll be right back people. And boom, here we are. Yeah. We got the game. We can push this to the side because that will be last. But first things first, let's get into this nice, detailed, colorful um, metal box for the game. Yeah. And uh, took the game out so I could start installing it. And uh, yeah, comes with some more booklets and a code. Uh, I'm not going to show you the code, or I hope I don't. Let's make sure. Okay, all good. Yeah, it comes with a small booklet. I don't know if it's going to have a good booklet, but we can definitely check that out. Uh, nope, just stupid controls. And these can go on the side. That's a little bit. Ooh, there's a little bit of artwork on the back of this. So you guys can see that and uh, enjoy it. But now, for the piece of resistance. Dun, dun. Now I'll just put in music. Oh, look at that fucker. Look at that fucking detail on that thing. Look at those blasters. Oh, man. Look at, ooh. Crotch shot. Look at the detail of the organs right at the fucking. Yeah, let me get some better lighting on that, this bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, let's see. Oh, look at that detail. Look at that detail. Mmm, scrumptious. Now, the cool thing is I'm not going to be able to show you, but after opening it, I realized there, there's a there's a special feature I didn't even know about that came with this bad boy. 
Where is it? Oh, here it is. See, there's a little f fucking switch right here. I don't know if you guys will see it. Oh, you saw it. Look at that. A fan turns on and a red light. Yeah, I had to put in batteries. So when this thing is on at night, it's going to illuminate. So don't want to waste the batteries. And the fan's working nicely, actually. Oh, that's actually looking a lot better than it was earlier. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I thought the fan might have been broken. It wasn't moving that well. But I guess it just had to be on a flat surface. Huh. Just listen to that. But yeah, this guy is pretty damn massive. Now, he... Uh, it says that he's about 12 inches tall. So, actually, as a good example, whoops, lighting. As a good example, here is a figure of mine. This is a 7 inch tall Super Saiyan Blue Goku. So, it is pretty damn big in comparison, but it does have to do a lot with this bad boy right here that's holding it. And this doesn't come apart, this is one full piece. Like, it wiggles a little bit on its own, but it is completely glued to this. I go go. Um, yeah, so there's no removing it. Now, uh, one thing I kind of wish they did was with turning this on, I wish they had a setup where this would glow. This little hole right here. Maybe his eyes and the two blasters instead of the fan. The red light down here is a cool effect, but those lit up would have been way fucking cooler. So, let's get Goku out of here. And uh, as another example, let me get a special fan and be right back. Here we go. Here's two of my favorite monsters from games. Well, not sure about him yet, but I just love the way this looked. I, I really just wanted it. But here's my boomer statue. Full on bronze boomer. This thing's like fucking 16 pounds. This thing's like maybe, I think, two. Not even, actually. That's like maybe a pound. It's not heavy, but it's full-on bronze, and they're, they're, this is basically 13 inches. You can tell this is definitely much more massive. I got a good deal for this, though, in comparison, because this by itself was like $110, $120. This I got on Amazon, <laughs> and thanks to Amazon Prime, I was able to get it for only 100 bucks with the game. So in a sense, this thing only cost me 40 bucks with the game. So overall, I am very pleased with this purchase of a $40 statue in comparison. And you know what I just thought of? Epic Battle! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick bit of a uh, unboxing video. So, uh, probably not going to do too many of these because I don't have the highest funds for these collector's editions. But who knows, maybe there will be another one in the future. Maybe something for Gears of War. But besides that, um, if you guys enjoyed that this video, PUNCH that like button. And subscribe for more content and look forward to DOOM! the game and the playthrough on my channel. I'm still in the middle of Dark Souls 3 and Abobo's Big Adventure. Those will be continuing, especially Abobo's Great Big Adventure or whatever. I might be doing that weekly or something sometime soon when I have a schedule for that because I did get something else in the mail. And uh, my favorite Canadian, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what it is. So yeah. Coming to you guys soon, the Doom game playthrough, continuing a bunch of other things. So look out for more of my content and enjoy. Till next time guys, later. Thanks for watching this video everyone. Hope you enjoyed it and if you want more, check out the description below. Hope to see you guys in a later video. Also, have an awesome day.